an idyllic morning on Oregon's Pacific coast. But just 60 miles beyond the breaking waves lies the Cascadia Fault. About every 240 years, for thousands of years, it's let rip a powerful earthquake. Blue. The fear is that the buildings along this sandy stretch may not withstand a tsunami triggered by a mega quake. Even some of the newer houses, you're just not sure if they would be able to stand, especially after seeing what happened over in Japan. Experts know much needs to be done to make Oregon's coastal towns, like Cannon Beach, ready to face disaster. But there's a lively debate over the price of needed changes. Moving schools to higher ground could cost over $100 million in just this one tiny community alone. But former Mayor Jay Raskin says the time to prepare is now. He wants to turn the existing city hall into America's first tsunami shelter. This is the uh, six foot mark and this is the level of what the geologists are telling us is the most likely tsunami to come uh, to Cannon Beach. And the one at the 15 foot mark is where we're uh, designing the level of the, for the, our building. Fashioned out of reinforced concrete, the new building could hold 1,500 people. But state officials in charge of the purse strings are skeptical about the estimated $4 million price tag, double the cost of a normal city hall. We need to prepare for, for an earthquake at the same time. We have schools that are falling down on their own and need to be replaced, earthquake or no earthquake. So where does the priority go? For mourners gathered here to honor Japan's earthquake and tsunami victims, grief is still fresh, spurring renewed calls for disaster preparation. But budgets are tight and the question remains, how much can we afford to prepare for a great unknown, now before it's too late?